is John Paquette. I'm the creative director of Metal Owner Airborne. Okay, and we're in the game. And uh, so, so this is Operation Avalanche. This is uh, the second operation of the game. And in this operation, the player jumps into uh, an enemy-held area in uh, Pestum, Italy. And the objective for the player in this in this mission is to take a series of, of targets that the the enemy has taken um, in order to support the uh, the invasion of Italy. Um, sorry, it's hard to talk while I'm playing here. Uh, let me zoom in and, and take out this MMG guy. So one of the features that you're seeing here right now is uh, called True Trigger. So you can see as I depress the uh, the right trigger on the Xbox 360 controller, um, the the trigger gets uh, to the red point, and that means I have ultimate control over the uh, over the crosshair. So I can take this guy out with a headshot if I want to. Um, and uh, that's one of the new features that we're bringing to, to Medal of Honor is the, the True Trigger, which allows you to um, essentially zoom in on anybody, um, take them out, and uh, um, essentially not die, which is what I'm trying not to do right here. So um, one of the features that uh, we have in Medal of Honor is that if you do happen to die in a mission, you can jump right again. Um, and uh, so when you jump back into action, you can, you can say, OK, last time I, I took a bunch of damage. I jumped onto the enemy territory. Um, this time I'm going to jump away from enemy territory, and I'm, I'm going to try and fight with my allies to, to get where, where I need to go. Um, when you jump, you have a series of objectives um, in this mission. You have to take out a motor pool, um, an ammo cache, a communications center, um, and you can do that in any order that you want. Um, so, so I'm going to start out, and, and I'm going to look around the environment as I'm, as I'm dropping down. And in every mission, you'll see green smoke. So you can see there's a couple green smokes here that we have. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to target one of these green smokes, and you can see my allies drop there as well. Um, so I feel like I'm going to have some some help as I as I go into the battle. Um, so I botched my landing, which is not what a pro does. Uh, but I'm I'm safe because I'm in green smoke, and now I'm going to kind of see where I need to go. So I can see that same MMG guy that that took me out earlier, and I'm going to take him out quick, and I'm going to follow my allies into the battle. So on the compass, you can see that there's, there's yellow triangles on the compass, and that kind of directs me to where my objectives are. So if I wanted to turn around and go back up to the communication center, you can see there's, a, uh, there's an antenna up there. That's one of my targets up there. Um, or I can turn around and I can go this way um, toward one of my other objectives, which is the fuel containers. So you can see these fuel containers are, are marked uh, for destruction, plainly visible for the player. But I've also got some enemy, enemy resistance in the area. So um, I've got my allies with me, so I feel pretty safe. Um, but what I want to do is I want to try and move up slowly, um, take cover, and try and take out the allies at, as best as I can. So I'm using the peek and lean mechanic, which is uh, something we had in a couple of Metal Honor games, but um, we feel is really um, nice for the console first person shooter. You just press the left trigger, and then you can press up on the left trigger or on the, the left stick um, and you can take out guys as you wish um, like I said the uh, the true trigger is nice um, but you can also take off shots pretty quickly if you want on the sniper rifle I just got blown up by a grenade there sorry so my true trigger you see I have ultimate control now I've got the guy in my sights and I can take him out quick so with this, uh, with this tank up here, what I can do is I can shoot the tank, and you can see I've, I've caused some damage to it. And what I'm going to do with this tank is that I can, I can see that it's leaking fuel. So I'm going to throw a grenade over there, see if I can get it to uh, start on fire. And you can see I did get it start on fire. I'm going to take out some other guys while I'm trying to do that. So I accomplished one of my objectives, which means I've reached a checkpoint in, in the game. So my progress is saved at this point. Um, so if I die and I come back, then, then I have achieved that, that objective. If I come in um, on top of it, so you can see like I'm coming in from above right now. You can see that fuel tank is, is now destroyed. And I'm going to parachute in behind the other objective. Um, so this is, this is uh, one of the cool features that we have is that 
you know, on, on the airdrop, I can come in behind that objective and you can see I'm, I'm right next to it. Um, that's, that's what I have to take out. The AI knows that, that I'm trying to take this out. And you can see on the compass all the, all the red crosses there. Those are all the enemies. And they know that I've, I've kind of encroached on, on their territory. Um, but regardless, I'm going to try and take out that, that fuel tank from the side. And you can see I, I took it out quick. And now the enemies know that I've taken this objective. Um, and they're going to do whatever they can to survive. Um, but my, my allies know that once I've taken out that objective, um, they can move on to another objective, right? Um, so as a player, I can follow my allies wherever I need to go, and I'll know kind of where, where the objectives are in, in the world.